Hey guys, welcome to another video and in today's video we are going to do an install and preview for Derp Fest ROM which is based on Android 10. Now this is a relatively new ROM, I have not used it on any of my devices in the past and uh, apparently from the looks of it, let, let's have a look what version we have over here. We have a build from the 14th of September and the good thing is this is official. So yes, we will install that particular ROM and see the first impressions and we will find out if it is worth using as a daily driver or not. But before we do that, in the description below we do have a link for our Telegram channel, you can go ahead and join that and our Discord server is linked as well so i'll see you there and before we start flashing any new rom usual set of disclaimers please back up all the information that you have you need to have more than 50 percent battery on your k20 pro your phone should be unlocked with a custom recovery installed in this case we are using orange fox recovery and you will need the latest miui vendor for your device you will need the rom file and you will need OpenG apps. I use the Pico version. So now that out of the way, let's quickly boot into recovery and let's flash this ROM. All right, so we are in TWRP right now. And uh, as always, we will first go ahead and format data. So go to manage partitions, go to data, format data, type in yes. Now remember when you format data, all your internal storage will be wiped. It is essential to back up all the information. For me, everything is there on a flash drive. And now we will go to reboot and reboot recovery. Now we do this, I do this at least every single time when I flash a new ROM to ensure there are no encryption decryption issues. There are ways around it wherein you can flash the decryption zip and all the other things. But I find this one to be easier. Now once that is done, we will go to wipe Dalvik cache system data and internal because we've formatted data. I'm not wiping the vendor because I am on the latest MIUI vendor. Now once you've wiped everything thing as I always say remember do not reboot your phone go over here and mount the USB OTG and then select the derp fest file okay let's flash this particular ROM and see how exciting it is it'll take one to two minutes to be flashed all right now while the ROM was flashing I did actually look at the size and it is around 1.4 gigabytes and that gives me an impression that this is going to be with Google Apps so we will directly you know go ahead and boot into the system so wipe cache and reboot system let's wait for the first boot to complete which will take around 30 seconds to a minute and let's see how the boot logo is okay that's one of the fanciest boot logos that i've seen in a while on any particular rom let's wait for it to finish booting up and let's have a look at this rom all right, so as you can see, we are on the home screen of Derp Fest, and uh, this again is a Pixel esque launcher. It does have the Google Now screen to the left, which is really, really nice. I have enabled the dark theme. The phone doesn't boot with a dark theme, of course. Now, as you can see over here, this logo looks really, really nice. This, this is the latest version, official one, and here is the complete change log. I would not go through it because that's a lot of stuff. But yes, this is one of the latest builds, and uh, from the first impressions, it looks really 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 nice and if you see over here just like any other custom rom in the customization menu for this particular rom is known as derp quest instead of derp fest so it does have a hell lot of customization so it will be really really interesting to use this and i'm pretty sure just like all the other custom roms if we go to the network settings we do have wi-fi calling and operator video calling over here the good thing is the button has the pixel-esque animation over here and if i do a test call over here i'm pretty sure we might have call recording we don't so that is what happens when you use a build which is integrated G apps. If it has G apps built in, you will not get call recording. That's the reason most of the time in my reviews and videos, I include a vanilla build wherein you have to flash the ROM separately and then you also have to flash G apps separately and then you get call recording as well. So all in all, this is a very, very, you know, devoted light ROM, but it does come with ANX camera. So after a long time, I have come across a ROM which boots with ANX camera 
pre-installed and don't worry about the force close over there it is normal with ANX when you boot it on a custom ROM all the features are there the only thing that is not there is call recording but that will not stop me from using this and reviewing it completely for you guys let me know in the comment section if you'd like to see a full review for Derp Fest on this particular channel and please like share and subscribe if you haven't already this was the quick install and preview of Derp Fest for the K20 Pro for now, this is Kalash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.